What's up guys, this is Ashley Gillard with a Twin Flame reading. Today is August 26th. Yes, today is the day I read the reading, but it's not necessarily the day that you resonate with it. That would be up to you and how you resonate with this energy and or what's going on in your life. The overall energy we have today, we have recovery, we have impatience for Oracle, meaning spirit is working on behalf of divine masculine and divine feminine to make necessary changes to bring them together, but also to bring them internally um, balanced and together in their lives. Additionally, it's about allowing spirit to do the work, allowing you to do your part, but spirit to do the other part. Just like on the tree of life, we have victory and we have splendor. So it's acceptance, but it's also fight and finding the balance between the two. It's like the serenity prayer. Bless me with the wisdom to accept things that I cannot change in a and fight for the things I can or something like that and a wisdom to know the difference. So it's about finding balance between acceptance and allowing spirit to do the work and also working with spirit. Perfect balance between your internal masculine and feminine energies. We also have for the divine masculine, we have the high priestess and the nine of swords. So right now in the divine masculine's life, he or she is highly, 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 highly affected or highly um, impacted. What am I looking for? Driven. Highly driven by the feminine energy that can be internal and external. It's internally in spirit working on his or her behalf to make changes and in the partnership as well. The feminine is really impacting the masculine or having an impact on the masculine and the changes that he's making in his life or acceptance of those changes as well. For the overall energy of the feminine, we have standing your ground. We have the tire and ace of coins and the four of wands. Again, finding balance within her masculine energy, his or her masculine energy, um, standing her ground as it pertains to her life and finding balance in her life. The first card we have for the feminine is the lovers, which is balanced by creating um, balancing the masculine energies, clarified by the Empress and the One of Earth as well, by creating projects and, and new opportunities coming in. Again, Spirit is bringing in new opportunities. Spirit is affecting both of these energies. So Spirit is bringing in new opportunities for the feminine, and she's working with Spirit, finding a balance between allowing things to happen and working for things to happen and fighting for things to happen and standing her ground to make the necessary changes in her life as it pertains to masculine energy. So while the feminine is highly affected by this tower moment in Spirit and and working towards masculine energy, the masculine is highly affected by feminine energy, internal and external. Maybe there is a connection between this masculine and feminine where he's able to be to see her or him or her, but he's being impacted by it, he or she. Um, this reading was brought to you by my book, The Personification of Beauty is on Amazon. Please check me out. I need all the help that I can get. Um, because I was, n I did not put the energy into it, but I am now. So please check me out, The Personification of Beauty. Search Ashley Giller on Amazon. It's also on Barnes & Noble's, iBooks, um, Nook, Kindle Press, several different outlets. So check that out. So before I begin, let's get started. Um, we're going to start with the masculine's energy, only because I pulled those cards first. And... I know, I want to read them first. So, for the masculine energy, the first card, you don't see it in the picture, I'm sorry. Um, but the way that the camera on my iMac is set up, you, you can't see it. So, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Tower. Clarified by the Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, and nine, King of Swords. Okay. Spirit has led the masculine to clarity of thought so that he or she can make a decision to leave Something behind, again, part of the masculine energy is leaving karmic patterns and people behind. So we have the Eight of Cups here, walking away from a situation, attuning to getting mental clarity, having an aha moment, knowing what to do and making a decision to unify with the feminine. This is before the feminine even knows it. This is what's crazy about this reading. You know, the feminine doesn't even know she's affecting the masculine. He or she, you, sorry for these gender terms, guys. It is what it is. But the feminine is not even having a full understanding that what she's doing, saying, doing, whatever it could be, social media, connection, however you guys are connected, she don't even know she's having an effect on the masculine's life, but she is. And 
in the background, the masculine is making a decision to come towards union with feminine, with his or her divine partner. So walking away from things that no longer serve him, walking away from karmic patterns and people and making a clear decision, clarity of thought, having a um, plan to come forth to change his life by, by coming together with the feminine. Then we have the King of Cups. I didn't clarify this card because I, come on, I, I, it's so much. I don't know if it's animals trying to get into the house or what. It's so many noises that just goes off in this house. It's annoying. Anyway, we have the King of Cups. Finding balance. This is about balance. You know, internal control, being solid on a rock, finding balance between the two. Finding this change is leading this masculine to balance. And it makes sense because if you resonate with your masculine energy and you're highly affected by feminine energy, that means, you know, intuitively and spiritually you're being balanced. Then we have the Knight of Wands, and you guys can see that a little bit. Clarified by the Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, in which when I pull these clarifying cards, they come after. So sometimes the message is repetitive because Spirit is like, I already told you that. I'll tell you the same thing again. You can pull as many cards, you're going to get the same message. <laughs> But sometimes I still pull those cards just for clarity. So we have the Knight of Wands with the Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. This is taking fiery action towards unification of uh, with the feminine energy. Because the feminine is still in here, I see singleness. I see the Knight and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm, this is what I'm resonating with masculine. And for this, is I'm resonating with the feminine, finding balance between both energy, therefore bringing abundance into her life. His or her life. So we have passion ignited between these two people. And finally, not it turns from, remember the first cards was planning internally, not telling the feminine, but planning to unify with the feminine energy. Then once balance, once the masculine is balanced within the energies within him or herself, the plan turns into action. Now I want to take action on this beautiful, abundant person and feminine energy that I want to connect with who is someone who I want to be with. So this, eventually, the masculine will take action towards unifying with the feminine. Then we have the fool, which is faith, clarified by the queen of wands and the nine of cups. I'm sorry, yeah, and the four of swords. This is where it gets interesting. It's, it's being a bless as well. See, you have two nines here, which is usually perseverance, but also blessing. So it's you having faith to take initiative to go towards the feminine. But it's like a new phase of life is also being attracted by this leap of faith. Blessings being drawn, new phases being drawn. But having faith also that spirit is working on behalf, that spirit is working on behalf of the masculine to bring this partnership together. Like, you're not alone. Like, that's another thing where this impatience and recovery comes in to play as well for the bottom of the deck energy. It's like finding balance between spirit doing, you doing all the work and spirit doing it as well. So at this point in the journey, the masculine is allowing spirit to attract this new phase, this connection with the feminine to manifest it. It's being at rest. It's taking the initiative, but also being at rest, knowing that you're blessed, one, to even be on this journey, and two, that spirit is working on your behalf to bring it together. And as a result of impatience and as a result of relying on spirit, as a result of taking the right action, again, because it starts from internal balance and, you know, this is what I want, this is who I want to be with, balancing the energies within yourself and taking passion and action, perhaps... You're doing too much at this point. You decide, let me rely on spirit to bring it together as well. I'm going to do my part, but I'm going to allow spirit to do its part as well. And then it comes together. You have the Ace of Pentacles in the world. A new, a whole new world. A whole new world. New opportunities. Blessings. And this offer that comes through that works. That manifests. It's not just a game plan anymore. It's, it's real life. It actualizes. So... Oh, I, I did this in less than 10 minutes for the masculine. That's awesome. And overall energy. So this anxiety turns into faith. This anxiety with the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. This anxiety turns into balance. This change turns into balance. And it brings together 
spirit as faith and works brings this partnership together so this is what the masculine like life looks like right now work walking away from things that are karmic that served its purpose and that no longer serves positive influence over his or her life mental clarity and a breakthrough of who he or she wants to be with making that decision internally in his mind this is the person that i want to be with this is who spirit is leading me to be with things changing in his life that are not in his control his or her control that's making this all happen then internal balance then fiery passion and decision to come together with this abundant beautiful feminine energy that's resonating with this reading and the faith that Spirit is bringing them two together, a balance between faith and works. Yes, putting the in initiative to come to the feminine, but also knowing that Spirit is working on behalf of you both to bring it together as well. And it manifesting in the end with Ace of Pentacles in the world. A whole new world, new beginnings in finances and love and life. Now for the feminine. Overall energy, seven of wands, eight of coins, twelve of wands, and the tower. This tower moment that's happening in the ma masculine is also happening changing or having an impact on feminine energy as well each one mirrors each other that's the the kicker you mirror each other it's it's you know your internal energies mirror each other so it, it attracts the same thing for the external partnership especially if you resonate with a twin flame coming from the same cell or you know as one as an adam and eve type stuff so you mirror each other so this tower moment is having an impact on feminist life but she stand, he or she is standing her ground to manifest masculine energy in her life, his or her life. So with the lovers here, you can't see this, but I'll show you. We have the lovers clarified by the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles again. So while the Ace of Pentacles came out twice, but a lot of cards came out twice here. Did the Empress come out twice? We have the high priestess, but in the queen of um, pentacles came up twice too. Anyway, so we have feminine finding the balance within herself as well as a herself, but as it pertains to masculine energy. So he or she is creating, getting in tune with ideas and putting in the work, finally putting in the work. But also know that this impatience and recovery is also affecting the overall energy for the feminine as well so the work that's not being done spirit is pushing opportunities or pushing things that happen in the feminine's life to push her his or him or her towards balancing the masculine energy as well so that could be job offers that could be offers of opportunity and, and entrepreneurship real estate whatever it is that's balancing the masculine energy for the feminine is happening spirit is bringing opportunity towards the feminine to help her a sister on this journey of balanced and masculine energy. Clarified by the queen. The next part is the queen of coins and the knight of air. Again, putting in the masculine work, putting in the work to manifest the ability to manifest masculine balance, manifest balance and practicality in life and structure and money and finances, you know, Finding that balance in life and fighting for it until you get it. Standing your ground. So the feminine is standing our financial ground. Getting her money up. Getting her points up. So she's being a boss. That's what it's all about. Feminine stepping into her boss masculine energy and mastering it. Because if you can master the feminine energy, you can master this masculine energy. It's just as easy. I say easy with a grain of salt though. I know it's a process. But you can do it. So what does that look like? This is the feminine doing business plans and executing them, um, putting strategies together, taking meetings, taking calls, hiring people, whatever it is, what it looks like in your life to master your masculine energy, that's what it looks like. It could even be doing something like taking a class or going back to school or something practical to balance the masculine energy of life but this is more than giving away money this is receiving in it money as well so it's creating a project creating a product and putting yourself out there to receive balancing your masculine energy to receive stability and balance in your finances in your career then we have the hangman clarified by the nine of ladder so feminine uh, and that resonates with this too. Not accepting offers. Not accepting offers. So, 
guys, this is so wonderful. This is so beautiful. Because remember, the masculine is relying on faith. Relying on, yes, putting in the work, but also relying on faith and works to bring this partnership together. And it's because the feminine is like in this energy of not taking offers right now. I'm not taking offers as it pertains to romance and love right now because I'm working on balancing my masculine energy. I'm getting my money up. I'm a boss. I'm saving. I'm investing. I have products I'm creating. I have whatever. And I resonate with this as well. I have a lot. It's so exciting. Like so, so many exciting things. I have products that I'm creating. I have, you know, in spiritual products that I'm creating, but other products that I'm creating, mind, body, and spirit. It's like I have all three covered and I have a lot of things manifesting in mind, body, and spirit. Products and, and services and classes, mind, body, and spirit is just so amazing right now. So I get being in an energy of not accepting romance offers or offers of love and, and partnerships as it pertains to love because we're so focused, and if you are part of this collective that resonates with this, we're so focused on ourselves and finding balance in our masculine energy because we have to. It's a part of the journey. You, you're not just feminine. You're also masculine. It's mastering both aspects of yourself to put yourself in a position, right? balance with God, balance with the light, balance with Keter, to be able to receive from the divine. It takes mastery of both. So it's okay to take some time out to master your masculine energy and to be, you know, not accept offers right now. But knowing spirit is still working on behalf of both energies to bring you two together. So even if you're working on yourself, know that when you're working on yourself as a feminine, you're bringing, what you're doing is bringing you and your masculine, it's making your masculine want you even more. You ever heard like people want Yeezys because they can't get them. Because they sell out on the first day and they're a thousand dollars, you know, it's like when you say no, you increase in value. So even if you're not doing it to increase in value, you're increasing in value, period, because you're working on yourself and you're balancing your energies. But when you say no and you, you make yourself exclusive to only certain people, you also increase increase in value as well. Then we have. Oh, man. And you know what? I was not trying to get all these cards. Every time I was trying to clarify this Queen of Wands, so many cards came out, and it was really annoying, so I just ended up just taking them. Again, the Queen of Wands again. We had the Queen of Wands twice, and we got the Queen of Earth twice. But the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Earth, and the Queen of Air came out to clarify the Queen of Wands. So this is all internal energies, internal clarity, but also manifesting um, in the material realm as well. Being on your queen-ish, you know, being a boss in your right and who you are as a person and, and working on yourself, being clear about who you are, being clear about what you want and working towards the manifestation of it. And because of you into this new phase of life, you complete, you complete yourself. You're complete within yourself. You find that you have mastered internal completion and fulfillment. And has nothing to do with a partner. Has nothing to do with anyone else but yourself. Mastering yourself, mastering complete, being um, complete and fulfilled with who you are as a person and your life. You know, working on your life, when you get to this point, you're like, wow, I created something and it worked. I have my own store or I have my own business. I I really did it. Dope energy. Then we have two of air and another ten. Ten of cups. Double completion. Fulfillment in your family life. That's so perfect, guys. I like how I just laid that out. Because it's like, first, you completing, you've you completed yourself. That was the first 10. Finding internal completion and happiness with what you've created in your life. Or how you've come so, how far you've come alone. Like, you did it. But then, deciding to master, to mirror that same energy of self-fulfillment and happiness in a partnership. Making a decision to say yes. Making a decision to find fulfillment not only with yourself, but also with your divine partner and your family. 
So internal completion opens the door for external completion and brings the partnership together. So dope. So dope, so dope, so dope. And then what perfect way to end this than with the Ten of Coins. Entering this new phase of life, clarified by the Four of Earth and the One of Fire. Holding on to each other, not letting go, being passionate, loving each other, sexually, emotionally, fulfilling each other, and entering a new phase of life together because you both master both of your energies and you're ready to take on the world because you got this. You're one with God and nothing can stop you both. You've mastered and completed the energies within yourself. You know who you are. You're a boss. Your masculine is a boss. The feminine is a boss. And you're coming together and entering this new phase of life. And this is what it's all about. This is what it's about. Coming together, entering a new phase of life where life is so different. Because now your partnership, you're not a half a person. You know, when we're in these karmic relationships, we're still discovering ourselves. We're still figuring out who we are and, and we're in balance but we're trying to find what balance even means for ourselves so we fall in love with people when we haven't mastered ourselves yet and so it doesn't work out because you start understanding who you are as a person and you might cheat you might you make mistakes because you realize this partnership or this karmic relationship was good for when it was. But it's hard to let go because you thought this is somebody you were going to build with forever. But then you go through these tower moments and you come to the realization that this is not the person I was supposed to be with for the rest of my life. It was just for a season. And you find yourself and you work on yourself. And once you find yourself and you, you complete the, and you balance both energies with yourself and you complete this cycle and you come together with someone else, who has balanced their energies and completed their cycle, you take over the world from there. Now you're light. Now you're one with your partner and God. Now you're a force to be reckoned with. Now you're a vessel of God on earth together and you show others the way and how they can master their energies and you'll be an example of what it's like to be God on earth, what it's like to be a vessel of God on earth, what it's like to master life. So I said all that to say, congratulations is what I'm getting because being on this journey I'm getting this far in this journey you've done something already but you're about to kill it you're about to master it when you master and you come together and you and these energies it's nothing can stop you now nothing can stop you apart and nothing can definitely stop you together two strand cord is not easily broken what is it what is that scripture I'm going to look it up right quick because it just came on my three strand cord is not easily broken or something like that. Sorry guys, I really have to look this up. Wow, I have to, I have to. Oh my God, yes. Ecclesiastes 412. The one may be overpowered. Two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not easily broken. It's not quickly broken. You have one maybe overpower being on a journey alone um, with not balance between both of your energies. Then you find balance between both of your energies, and it's a cord of two strands. But a cord of two strands easily turns into a cord of three strands when you have yourself, your feminine masculine energy, and the light. You may refer to it as God, whatever God you refer to. You have the light, you have your masculine and your feminine energies, and that's not easily broken. And just imagine coming together with somebody else who is also not easily broken. It's the epitome of Ecclesiastes 412, so look it up if you need to. But yeah, anyway, that is your reading for today. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So happy that I was able to bring forth that message for you. And I will bring forth more content as this channel grows. Um, thank you for liking. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I wish you more light, life. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace.